Tommy not to be today, what, what are your thoughts on that performance? Uh, frustrating end for us, certainly. Um, you know, we've, we've worked tirelessly there, particularly first half. It's on a really warm day. Um, and, you know, there was nothing in the game. We had a chance later on in the second half, I think really good, two really good chances actually. And um, it was a game of nothing, you know, for the first half. We had to compete, we had to play a certain style the way we wanted to get about them. And obviously their goal came from us sort of going away from that for a, for a tiny part of the game and we got punished. I see, because Stockport are obviously pushing for promotion, that's where Donny want to be by the end of the season. Is that that kind of that bit of quality that just separates where you are at the moment to where you want to be? I don't think it's quality. I think there's quality on both sides today. You can see that from the way we pressed all, all first half, probably up to about 80, 85 minutes. Um, but, you know, it's one of them where if you come, come short of them pressing targets that you want, you're going to get punished. And um, we certainly got punished on the outside. There was just the... It's one of them things, though, you know. We, we were trying to be competitive for 90 minutes today and we knew we could get a result. We were confident of it. We were in good form and... Um, yeah, obviously it's disappointing to, to come away there with nothing. I say you hard battled for, for all that time, but do you feel like when they brought on their subs, the Paddy Maddens, do you think uh, the Carl Wooden, do you think that just kind of changed the game a little bit, a little bit more fresh legs on the on the pitch? I don't think it was what they did, really. I think again, you know, it's, it's not. I'm not trying to say it was in the individuals, but collectively, we went off what we we knew we were doing right for the majority of the game. And the great thing about it, you know, for 60, 65 minutes, you could. The fans were in big voices. It was it was lifting us, and I thought, you know, there's always a chance that we were going to get that late winner. Um, but when they keep the ball towards the end, and and one of us just falls short, and then the second person went, the spaces appeared, and you know, the goal went in how it did. And even late on, I thought we had chances where we were probably just a little bit lax with our final ball in. Um, but disappointed, yeah, obviously, you know, we've, we've come here with intentions to get three points and we thought we were in a good place to get that and, uh, you know, I can't fault anyone, we were, you know, we've worked tirelessly today, it's just one of them where concentration has to be at the highest level to get anything from any game and that was just a matter of missing out. We're still in the early stages of the season, it's just a case of uh, not letting not letting this late goal go to the go to the heads and ruin the mentality of the squad, isn't it? No, it won't do. Um, you know the, the the best thing about this group is the honesty. You know we've been in there and we've we've ironed it out already. We know where where the goal came from. But also it's not a, ca a case of just blame for the goal. We lads in forward areas and defence. We've got to take more ownership in terms of putting the ball in the, in the back of the net as well. And there was chances there, especially from set plays where we probably could have gone a little bit more like we did on the week uh, on Tuesday. Sorry, and um, there was chances there for us. We we know that. Um, and we want to come to places like this at Edgeley Park. You've got to take them. You know, it's a game of fine margins and uh, it rested with uh, Stockport today, so... For you personally, back here at Stockport, what, what did that game mean to you? It was a big game in terms of what we needed to build on as a, as a club, you know. There's nothing personal for me, it's a part of my career where I spent, you know, many fantastic years and that'll stay with me forever, but my job right now is to, to go and get three points and um, that was my intention from the beginning and I thought our focus was really good, you know, as a group we started really well in terms of the game plan as we did on Tuesday night and um, you know that's for me the key you know if we're going to get three points in these games the more we can stick to the game plan the game plan will work and uh, again you know that's that's the key thing for me is you now looking back on what we did we've, we'll address it um, you know we'll take the positives from the game and we'll we'll look at coming back on on Tuesday and putting it right yeah and it's a case of making that response on Tuesday night and then and taking that into the league on Saturday as well. Yeah, and we've done that well, you know, in the season. When we fell short on one game, we've always bounced back. We've got, like I say, we've got a good group of lads that, that always respond well to whether it's a criticism or something that they needed to work on. It's, it's the same for me. It's something that we... Feedback is always good. It's important that we get that feedback into each other. Um, and we always react the right, right way. So, um, you know, it's a, certainly something we'll be looking at over after we've recovered over the next 48 hours and, and get back into it. Yeah, and finally from me, it's, it's only a short hop over the Peak District, but the support today was phenomenal. It was, it was. It was, it was a really warm day as we expected, you know, the forecast was always going to be warm and we knew that there'd been, you know, strong voice, but um, great atmosphere. It was, it was, you know, electric first half. Times when you were trying to catch your breath, you could hear them, you know, the pushing you on and, um, you know, it's just frustrating, you know, the, to, to be in full voice like that and not really give them anything to go away with. At the end, we're all 
appreciative of, of their efforts and they're, they're still singing really loud. You know, that's, that tells us obviously we need to, to reward them with the next game for, for doing that and um, shows how close we've come over the last few games as well. Excellent. Cheers, Tommy. Thank you. Well, today, I think you've done four out of five games. Uh, I'm sure a disappointing start to the season. What's made the difference? What was the turning point? Was the one or...? Uh, it was just continuing what we're doing. We, we knew we weren't far off. It was a case of just ironing out some small, small things that were sort of that were always in the in the process of being changed. Um, and you know, games games went by when we we thought we could have done better in terms of results. We've not been as ruthless as we liked in games, and we still can you know be more ruthless in front of goal, particularly like today uh, yeah, when you've you got chances. And when you were there, and that's when the run started after that, and you were unlucky there, weren't you? Yeah. So did that give you sort of a bit of belief that? You weren't far off. Yeah. M- from probably MK Dons onwards, our yeah. performance levels have been really high. We knew that. We knew we had to up our performance level and, and results would come. Yeah. And we've probably had about, you know, large share, about 60, 65% of the, yeah. the results have come now. So we would need to keep on with the performances, you know, make sure our performances is sky high for 90 minutes. And, um, you know, we know with the individuals that we've got in this group, chances will be taken. Uh, lads are starting to get a bit of confidence. Mo, Joe, they've all started scoring goals now. Our wide players are getting deliveries into the box. Defenders are have been excellent. So, yeah, today's a blow for us. You know, we've we've lost here where we expected to come and compete and get a, you know three points. But it shows we'll take you how far you've come. Then, if you came here and you're disappointed against one of the best teams in the league, we have high expectations. That was yeah. the case for the start of the season. We know where this group of players can go. Yeah. Um, you know, that's internal. But you know, it's always disappointing to lose any match. When you're at a club like Doncaster, the standards are sky high. Any game you lose is disappointing, but particularly when we've been performing well, you know, today's a tough one to say. We fell away from it for the last 15, 20 minutes when we punished, and we need to put that right on Tuesday. Thanks again. Cheers. Okay. Appreciate that. Tommy, um, next time, is it just about being a little bit more ruthless going forward then? Yeah, ruthless is, is important, but I think the gaffer touched on it in terms of them key areas, being, being braver as well. Um, it wasn't necessarily the last thing, it was the next thing. Uh, it might have been like the, the pass before the goal. And we needed to take care a little bit in them areas and that for final third. Perhaps, you know, the, the effort we put in was was immense and we, we got to that point and sort of could have done better. But I still think with the players that we've got, we, we have that demand on each other to, to put in that final ball with quality. And um, the lads in there, whoever it is, there's five lads at times, we need to be putting the ball away. Um, and we didn't have that touch today. Is it a little dispirited to fall short against one of the big hitters because of your expectations on yourselves? You yeah, won't be up there with yeah, those guys. Yeah, of, of, yeah, of course, and, and they've started slowly as, as well, and we've now you know, six games on the bounce. Something that we were keen to do is go on a run of games. Um, this won't knock our confidence, though. We've, you know, we've got lads in there that understand where we're at. We're at a point where we have to learn fast. We can't let this dwell, dwell on this this loss. So like I say, the fans were excellent. They'll be here again. They'll be for, for us on the next game and the next game after that. We need to repay them now. We need to get the next three points in the weekend and we'll start the cup. I don't know how you feel, but it seems like there's aspects of today's performance that are definitely positive against a good team and a great club that's in a, a really great place at the moment. It's horrible. Yeah, but it's about, for us, it's, if maybe maybe expectations have been short from our performance level early on, but we we feel that we're in a good place right now and we can come to anywhere in the league and match them. Um, and I think hopefully today is an example of that. But it's not all we want to leave with. We want to leave with the points. It's what the league's for. Um, but at the end of the day, we know we competed well for the majority of the game, and you know, we'll like I say, we'll learn them lessons and we'll, we'll put it right. How tough is it going to be to go again against another good team at Mansfield uh, Tuesday night? It's a massive challenge for us, you know, it's something that, you know, when we come away from here without nothing, it's definitely key for us to bounce back. We always want to bounce back with the right result. So, you know, we'll be you know ready for it when it comes around. Yeah, I've got to ask you a question, how are you finding being back in midfield? Yeah, it's good. Uh, you know, <laughs> it's one of them for me, you know, I've always worked my hardest in whatever position, but um, just changing around is, is, is the case in terms of finding somewhere I can just really work on in training and the gaffers gave me that format now so hopefully you know next few games I can get a goal and uh, you know start adding contributions to the team as well.